Coach Rowe. What's good, bro? What's up, bro? How you doing? Oh, sparring day? Mm. Good work. Yeah, I've sparring uh, great work. I had Paul Crow boxing the lines. Uh, Crowley boxing everybody in here, man. Because he's working. You got a, a lot of trainers, a lot of coaches that duck good work, I guess, like for the confidence of the fighters. You don't. Why? Because I know how to uh, break a fighter down and build them up as well. Some fighters only know how to keep the fighter here. When they hide, they only keep them high. And I use Danny Garcia five as a as an uh, example, and Danny Garcia on his high horse, that's all he know how to do. So he's afraid to have him knocked off his high horse, then how you gonna get him back up? He have no, he don't know how. Mm. Know what I'm he ain't been training Danny from a baby. Know what I'm saying? Charlie, Charlie and uh, Mike was training Danny Garcia. Mm. I used to box Danny Garcia. Um, and Charlie and Mike were down. The father was never around, so he only knew how to sustain Danny Garcia here. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't there when Danny Garcia was getting punched on and things like that, so he don't know how to bring him down and uplift him. He only know how to praise him while he's at the top. So you like to put your fighters through adversity for just to face, face adversity in the fights? For sure. 100% adversity in the gym leads to adversity in the fighting. You know how to stay composed, get through it, and get back to the game. Anybody got fights coming up? Uh, I got a fight here. I, got, I was head booted at Joseph Fett, but his opponent got denied. Um, oh, man. Joseph has had a bad break, yo. Bad break, bro. From the uh, allegations on um, PGs and back to him getting off his suspension and nobody won't fight it. Even though who's been on four cards, they all fell through. Shout out to his promoter, Lou DeBella. <laughs> <laughs> um. There's a fight coming up this Saturday. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Who wins that fight? I don't know who wins it. Uh, Deontay Wilder come with a whole new element um, with Malik Scott in his corner. I think, me personally, I think Malik Scott and a little bit of time that he had tried to bring too many different things to the table. I want you to focus on um, while the right hand uh, and him landing the right hand from a different angle or a different perspective. But I don't know, man. Deontay Wilder feeling like a, another fighter, feeling like he's on a different level. His confidence is there, so you don't know what Deontay Wilder is going to come up. But Tyson Fury is hard to beat. I think he's the best heavyweight out there right now. We shall see said. How do you beat a Tyson Fury? Uh, no, I can't tell you. <laughs> I can't tell you. What would be your game plan going into the fight? Then? My game plan would be uh, for Wildbees to land that right hand. Get that right hand off it as much as possible and change it up speed wise and power wise. Sometimes tap, 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 and then boom, pow. But that's going to be hard with Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury can bang inside as he shows you when he stop Deontay Wilder and he can box. Mm. And he can take a punch. He can be knocked out, get, get up and fight again. Can you change that Wilder's age? You just switch styles? I had to say yeah because Deontay Wilder wasn't exposed to what he's being exposed to now. So as long as that's working, he's going to go with it. Um, but in, in, in any instance that is not working from jump, he's going to go back to himself. Um, I had that with Tevin from 7 and 4, he was 27 years old, and chaining all the way around. So basically, muscle memory normally just takes over. Yeah. 
as far as like when you talk about find ways to land the right hand, like give me examples, like feign it, what? Feign it, throw it out there, this is a tap, behind the jab, or a lot of one two, a lot, a lot of playing with the hook right, a lot, you do a lot. Drop down, finish up top, and like that. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it.